I don't know what y'all thought this was, but this is the GOAT. I had this made because somebody told me I was the GOAT. So I wanted to make me a GOAT chain. All that other shit y'all talking about, I don't know what y'all talking about, but this is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. With a blue diamond on his head, gold. Goat. That other shit y'all talking about, miss me with that bullshit. Dog is the goat. Represent peace and love around the whole globe. Get him, Glow. Get him, Glow. So now y'all know the truth. It's a goat. I don't know what kind of misprint y'all niggas was on. Media love starting shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm over here having fun in pairs. Yeah, Glow. Yeah, Glow. Shalom. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a recent small controversy involving Snoop Dogg. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully lay. All right, so this video is going to be entitled Snoop Dogg. You know what the goat means. Stop lying. You know what the goat means in the grand scheme of things, Snoop. So stop lying. Now, <clears throat> in the Olympics, you got Snoop Dogg, right? He's been a, uh, I think he was holding the torch. If I'm not mistaken, I, I can't really remember if he was, he had something to do with the opening ceremonies. Plus, he's been all over the place over there in Paris. In the Olympics, he's been one of the main faces that you've seen. All right, and he got this uh, goat necklace on, right? So the story, you know, he's saying that, you know, people had uh, uh, started saying on the internet that that goat necklace had something to do with Baphomet, which you know, if you know anything about, you know, Baphomet, right, if you get into the conspiracy stuff, you know that Baphomet is an androgynous uh, being that the elites and uh, lesser luminaries like Snoop Dogg, they tend to uh, show worship for. Now, in this little short video that Snoop made, he said that he don't, you know, he basically explained it away. Like people would do. You you really expect him to come out and say, yeah, it's a, it's a um, you know, it's showing that I worship Baphomet. Of course not. He's not going to say that. So, of course, he's going to use what's called plausible deniability. Which really, he's just using doubt against you. Now, at the end of the day, could his simple ass just have a go? It, it really, in my opinion, I think it serves two purposes. I think he was telling partial truth because he's just a simple ass nigga you know he's a simple ass dude just a rapper and people give these celebrities too much credit like we was talking about on the chat in my opinion you know I, I think Snoop was a good rapper you know and all that he one of the best rappers that's you know ever been however at the same time he aggravating with the whole antics with the weed and doing all that and his wishy washiness you know turning the Snoop line then trying to go to gospel music then back he quit smoking weed now, I guess. I don't know if he's back to smoking it again or whatever. But, you know, I describe Snoop as that's the only nigga I know that's got teeth. And he look like he don't have teeth. Okay, he look like he... <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, people love Snoop or whatever. So, like I said, I think his dual purpose, I think he got that goat for two reasons. You know, the one in which he did state and the other is for obvious reasons that we, that we know. Because he is a lesser luminary. And you can't forget that this dude, you know, he made a video, Murders the Case, a long time ago. And he talked about selling his soul to the devil. So, in my opinion, the dude is a devil worshiper. And then you see a post like this, and he's claiming he don't, you know, you heard the video, him explaining it away. But, but look at this shit, right? This is from, I guess, his Instagram, Snoop Dogg, Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal Radio Edit. Look at, look at him here. See, you don't just throw that sign up. That's showing allegiance to Baphomet. And it's perfect. It's, it's a perfect horn hand. Or I think it's called a mono cornuto. And I may have I may have that wrong. You know, and I even went here and, and, and circled it. So he got the chain on his neck, the goat chain, and he's got the Baphomet sign right there. And you notice a lot of these celebr a lot of these celebrities and lesser luminaries, you'll see them flash this sign. So he's letting on to the other side that He's in on whatever whatever's going on. Now this brings me to a phrase. Let's go there real quick. All right, this phrase plausible deni deniability. 
Now it says right here, plausible deniability is the ability of people, typically senior officials in a formal or informal chain of command, to deny knowledge of or responsibility for actions committed by or on behalf of members of their organized hierarchy, which in this case, Snoop, you know, he's going to deny any wrongdoing. He don't know what it means. You can miss me with all that bullshit. The media love to start stuff. This goat necklace, it really means I'm the greatest of all time. Yeah, okay. Maybe. But also, too, you know that you're a, you a lesser luminary, Snoop. And you worship the damn devil. I don't care what you say. If you're going to be in... If you really think they're going to let him be in movies and send him over to Paris and do all this stuff, but he ain't sell out? You can't be one of the number one selling artists of all time unless you're a part of this system. You're part of the machine, Snoop Dogg. This is Luke 4, verse 1. And Yahweh being full of the Holy Spirit... Return from Jordan was led by the spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, command this stone that it be made bread. Yahweh answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the Most High. And the devil taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power, what? All this power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. You see that? And it's the same thing in this whack-ass kingdom. Those who worship this worship Satan, they, you know, do the things that the, that the elites require of them. They'll be successful. They'll be lauded and praised. You, they'll be the ones that everybody looks to. You see, so that's why he's been constantly in the in the uh, in the eye of the media and all of that. His music has been ultra mega successful. He's been in movies. He's been in talk shows. He's been on, you know, everything, commercials, all of that. Okay. And people are, have caught on to that shit. Now, these people on the um, comment board, they said, Cap, this person, AK, the grinder, the beast, Cap, we know what that means. And, you know, I guess nowadays people say Cap, that means, I don't know if it means uh, BS or, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't, I can't even really describe it. What does Cap mean? Cap is like uh, somebody being dishonest or they're, you know, you're not telling you the real truth. The next person, Jers Emmy. I don't know. You know what the fuck that mean? That shit mean? Especially with all that sacrilegious shit going on with the Olympics, right? That person had a good comment. They know there's a lot of demonic shit going on over there with them opening ceremonies and all the different kind of uh, symbology going on. You know, regarding the opening ceremony and the Olympics themselves. A lot of Satan worship going on. This person, ZZ's Will, prime example of the reason y'all need to stop idolizing these celebrities and start idolizing the living God. Okay? And that's a Christian, obviously. And Harley, the medium, it's the people who ain't been to church since they were six years old, always worried about some sort of devil worship. They need to get baptized. So that person is defending Snoop Dogg. Okay? At in, in any rate, at any rate and in any event, this is a goat necklace. I mean, you can look at it as simply just a stupid ass goat necklace. But at the same time, I do believe that Snoop Dogg knows what that's about. All right. And if right, just like right here in the scriptures, when the house was visited by Satan in the wilderness, he told him, you can have everything if you worship me. See, let's read that again. Verse six. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them to my the kingdoms of the world. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. You see that? So the people in this society are just like that. This is Satan's kingdom. This is Satan's world. He rules it through his people. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And whoever they want to empower, whoever they want to make famous, be a celebrity, they'll do it. But you have to give them something. And what is that? You have to give them your allegiance, right? 
your work uh uh they require you to do things that that will show that you worship what they tell you to worship and you're less of luminaries and at the same time you have plausible deniability let's look at that even further right i can give you something better on that from the uh let's read a few more of these this says uh Collins Dictionary plausible deniability an explanation or statement that is plausible seems likely to be true or valid this one from Cambridge it says the ability to say in a way that seems possibly true that you did not know about something or were not responsible for something and didn't Snoop say that he said that in that video I don't know what y'all talk about you know this ain't got nothing to do with none of that what y'all saying this is a goat necklace. Somebody told me I was the I was the goat, so I got me a goat necklace. Well, why wow, that may be true, and I see that, and a lot of people keep saying the goat, but really, greatest of all time means one person. Everybody say they're the goat. You a goat too. I'm a goat, and you a goat. We goats together. We both goats. How can how can everybody be goats? Greatest of all time is a singular, singular individual. In any event, this nigga here is bought off, paid off, sold out. You see. He clowns for the right amount of money, loved the camera, never met a camera he did not like. Anyway, let's go to the, uh, I found a really good definition right here from the Black's Law Dictionary. Plausible deniability definition, examples and laws. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this. It says, plausible deniability is defined by the dictionary, but it's not technically a legal term or defined in any legal document which makes it a much looser term than it sounds. On top of that, plausible doesn't mean trustworthy, possible, or even likely. Plausible means you could conclude that something might or might not be possible. And, and ch check out this confusing sentence. It says, but usually, theoretically, superficially, and suspiciously, it doesn't necessarily have to be a reasonable conclusion either. In, in its broadest sense, the term usually points to a lack of proof and in this case it's the same thing we see it with our own eyes but his one of the reasons he says it oh oh well i'm saying one of the reasons he gave his valid reason you know to him it's just a necklace that means he's the greatest of all time now we believe the other part we believe you're doing it because you're a lesser luminary and you secretly worship the devil which is baphomet you do it openly behind closed doors is what we believe right because we know you bought and paid off now celebrities would tell you that they didn't sell out but they did sell out they had to do what was required of them right but we don't have the proof it says right here it doesn't necessarily have to be a reasonable conclusion either in its broadest sense the term usually points to a lack of proof after all innocent until proven guilty is the backbone of our legal system so if there's no proof it's plausible they could deny it essentially anything illegal or unethical salakia so essentially anything illegal or unethical that can be explained away under an innocent and probable guise which in this case is just a stupid necklace showing that i'm the greatest of all time essentially anything illegal or unethical that can be explained away under an innocent and probable guise true or otherwise falls under plausible deniability even if the plausible so like it, even if the plausibility of the denial is suspicious we can stop right there so you see it's that it's, it's like subtlety the scriptures call it exquisite subtlety so like when you don't like when you pretend you don't know something that you do know but you do it so cleverly to the point where it doesn't even seem like you're trying to cover up what you know to be true that other people suspect but you say that it's not I hope that came out right because I can't say it again. <laughs> anyway, this nigga Snoop, Snoop Dogg, you know what the goat means. Stop lying. All right, let me give you this scripture. This is uh, Proverbs 6 and 12. It says, A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually, he soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. And you have to 
if I was a celebrity today, if I was one of these rappers, you would have to be afraid because at any given moment, they may say Snoop Dogg checked out. And if they, and if by chance he was to die off, do you know how much money the uh, small hats would make off of his death? All them albums, all them singles, all those popular songs, right? Everything that he's been in, it will, it, you know, hey, something about when these um, musicians die. Or people in the entertainment when they pass away suddenly all their work becomes extremely valuable because it's the last of its kind he probably even got albums on deck that he didn't release songs with dr dre hidden albums in the you know in the crates or whatever dude probably got all kind of music so you have to be you know mindful of that well not us him if i was one of them i would be afraid because they can drop you at any time and bring out all your music you see Anyway, let's read a couple more scriptures here and we can shut it down. In the scriptures, let's read first. Isaiah 29 verse 15, it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Who hides their counsel from the Lord? The secret counsel of the wicked, which is the Illuminati. The Illuminati, the illuminated ones. Now, if individuals like Snoop, you have people out there that say, you're Snoop and the Illuminati. No, he's not. He works for him, but he's not in it. The Illuminati is, is the upper echelon of the elites, which they're all Edomites. They ain't gonna let no niggas in the Illuminati, okay, for the most part. But he works for them. He does their bidding. And in exchange for that, they let him have all the gold, all the money, all the weed he can smoke, all the fame. He can be in all the movies, right? He can influence minds. They use him to influence minds. That's all it is. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Well, we see you and we know you. And Snoop Dogg works for you. He's a lesser illuminary, just like Beyonce, just like Jay Z, just like Kevin Hart, just like Eddie Murphy, just like Michael Jackson was before he died, and Prince, and Whitney Houston, and Bernie Mac, and all them people. Same thing. They're all lesser illuminaries now you know bernie mac hadn't really got in there like you know like whitney houston michael jackson and prince you know but even people like coolio and gangsta boo and people that's dropping dead young Dolph, all of them they was all lesser illuminaries they've been key cued in and keyed in upon on, on certain secrets and they ain't gonna reveal them secrets for you for, to you they're gonna keep their plausible deniability this is psalm 64 verse 1 Hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. It's a secret and it's a counsel. Behind the scenes, right? A group of so-called white men, which are Edomites, deciding, so they think, the fate and destiny of everybody on the planet, the whole world, the trends, the fashions, the vibration of what's going on on the earth. But why? How are they able to do it? We read it in Luke 4. All this power is given unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. He gave it. Satan gave the power to his uh, his children, his physical counterpart on the earth, the so-called white man Esau, and they have under their employ all kind of nigger celebrities and different people that they you know set up to do their bidding for them, which is really the bidding of Satan. See, Satan used these people as a puppet. These people use you nigger rappers and you you other black faces. They use you for their bidding, but guess what? The Most High using all of you. The Most High using Satan to use the white man to use you niggas. And in the midst of that, there's plausible deniability. But we got the truth. We don't need to deny it. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And there is a secret counsel of the wicked. And Snoop Dogg works for him. Snoop Dogg, you know what the goat means. Stop lying. All praise to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.